Okay, in this very short video, uh, what I'm going to do is just talk you through how to go about deciding which particular statistical test you're going to apply when you're looking for differences between the means of two samples. Now, the first question you have to answer is, are you going to be able to apply a non-parametric test or a parametric test? So remember, you can always apply non-parametric tests. You can apply a non-parametric test to all kinds of data, whether it's nominal scaled, ordinal scaled, interval scaled, or ratio scaled. And you can apply non-parametric tests to data that are normally distributed or not normally distributed. However, non-parametric tests have lower power than parametric tests. If your data is of interval scale, or ratio scale and it's normally distributed so you've done a check of the normal distribution and it's come out as being normally distributed then you can apply an, a parametric test and you want to apply a parametric test because it's more powerful which means you're more likely to get the right result. So that's the first thing you have to decide. Are you able to apply a non-parametric test or a parametric test? The next question you have to answer is, is the data that I'm analysing, is it paired or is it independent samples? So remember, a rule of thumb is that paired data come from samples where you've analysed the same group of participants on two occasions. As in, both, uh, all the participants have received both treatments. Yes, so for example, in a study of uh, the effect of caffeine on exercise performance, then you've had the participants undergo uh, a performance task with caffeine and then on a subsequent day without caffeine. And then remember, independent samples are where you've got two separate groups of participants. So you've got one group of 10 participants, for example, who have been allocated to have caffeine, and you've got one group of participants who have been allocated not to have caffeine. You measure their performance and then you compare performance between those two groups. Okay, so you have to decide non-parametric or parametric test, paired or independent samples, and then that tells you which particular test you're going to apply. So if you've got a non-parametric test for paired samples, then you're going to be choosing a Wilcoxon signed rank test. If it's non-parametric and independent samples, then you're going to choose a Man whitney U test. If it's a parametric test with paired samples, then you're able to apply a paired samples t-test. And if it's parametric with independent samples, then you'll be using an independent samples t-test. So this uh, flowchart will be available to you on Blackboard. Use it to decide which particular statistical test you need to apply to your sets of data.